Hi, my name is Larry Flick and I'll be your professor for Principles of Management for the spring semester 2010. I wanted to introduce myself and briefly discuss the highlights of the course. The course is Principles of Management. The book we will be using is Essentials of Contemporary Management, 3rd edition by Jones and George, published by McGraw-Hill Irwin. This book is an abbreviated version of Contemporary Management, 5th edition by the same authors and publisher. Thus, it is called Essentials. The reason for the abbreviated version is that it costs you about 40% less. There are 14 chapters in the Essentials version and 17 in the full version. I'll show you in a moment how they compare. In fact, let's now take a quick tour of our Blackboard Vista class site and afterwards we'll return to the video for a few closing comments. Here is our Blackboard Vista class site. Note the book cover, Essentials of Contemporary Management, on the upper right hand side. However, let's focus on the links. The first one is Vista Orientation, which I highly recommend for those new to Blackboard Vista. The second is Announcements, where all important class information will be posted. I highly recommend your checking the Announcements link every time you enter the site. The third link is the syllabus. Let's take a quick look at uh, the syllabus and particularly the grading section of the syllabus. I'll scroll down. Now note that there will be five exams, each worth 10% for 50% of your grade. Then there'll be two one-page papers, each worth 10% for 20% of your grade. The patent exercise, a short exercise, in uh, leadership and that's worth 10 percent of your grade and uh, there will be the video case questions there's 10 cases and each one will be worth 2 percent for 20 percent of your grade uh, keep the grading in mind at all times they're the rules of the game and it's important that you uh, uh, keep them in mind now the next link is the class schedule Let's uh, here open that and take a quick look at that. I'm going to open that uh, full page. And uh, basically, the class schedule is a week by week listing of all assignments. Now, if we look at the first week, it's the introduction, and you can read that for yourself. Uh, the second week, we have Read Chapter One, the management process today. And then there's a video case and um, it's Southwest CEO get to know Gary Kelly and you're to submit your answers to the questions we'll just click on the case at this point it's a PDF file and if you scroll down uh, to you read the case uh, of course and then scroll down to the bottom you'll see three questions here and the questions are duplicated on the discussion board. So what you'll do is go over to the discussion board after you've read the case and viewed the video and you'll answer the questions. And again, if you add them all up, that's worth, I believe, 20% of your grade. So let's uh, go back and look at the uh, schedule again. So the second week, it's read chapter one and do the case uh, study. Uh, this third week is uh, you have an appendix A, which is the history of management thought. I want you to read and then read chapter two. Uh, the following week, uh, week four and five and six, I think are self-explanatory. In, uh, in red, <clears throat> the end of week four, we have our first uh, exam, and that's going to be available for four days between uh, February 10th and February 13th, and I'll explain more about exams later. But uh, the papers that we have, uh, they're, they're back, uh, the back uh, color is blue, and the first paper here will be due on March 2nd <clears throat> by midnight, and then we have our second exam and that's going to have another four-day window and so forth. Then we have spring break and uh, and onward. I think you can uh, you get the uh, uh, gist of it now. Uh, just note that, that the video cases and the uh, actual written case problems are linked uh, so you can just click on the links if you come to the ske class schedule. I think it'll make it easier. 
Um, and, of course, if you have any questions, let me know. Um, let's go out of the class schedule and take a quick look at the media roadmap. The media roadmap here, and I'll enlarge that as well, the media roadmap on the left gives us the essentials of contemporary management, our, our book that we'll be using, <coughs> and that's all in green. And we also have in yellow <coughs> the um, contemporary management book. And um, they're, of course, as I mentioned before, written by the same authors and published by the same publisher. You'll note that there's 14 chapters in the Essential, Essentials book, and there's 17 chapters in the uh, contemporary book. Um, I th there's plenty of learning tools here. There's narrated PowerPoints, uh, flashcards, glossary. The case videos are here, uh, a few of which we're not going to be doing, but uh, you'd want to look back at the class schedule to see which ones are required. Um, the cases are connected. Uh, there's quizzes uh, that are important to take to see how you're doing. Uh, these quizzes I won't be looking at, so uh, they're strictly uh, between you and the, and the uh, website. And then on the other side, there's some interesting thing. There's crossword puzzles that I've done and, and then some flash summaries that you might want to use to supplement the narrated PowerPoints. So, uh, and the chapters don't line up exactly. You can see number 17 lines up with uh, 11 in our book and so forth. So there's a little bit of difference. Then if you look at the other links, um, we have our class, and that's uh, where I'm going to ask you to send me a short bio of yourself and a picture, and I'll post them all there so you can uh, see our whole class. And then we have the tech site, which I want you to investigate on your own, some important links, and the management timeline, which is also linked from the schedule. So that uh, that's it for now. I think... Uh, what we'll do is simply go back to the video for some closing comments. Thank you. Welcome back. Well, now that we have taken a look at our class site and discussed some of the highlights of the course, I'd like to emphasize the importance of communications. This is an online course, and you'll certainly not see much of me. However, this doesn't mean that we cannot communicate regularly. When you have a question, I want you to email or even call me. Please don't let your questions go unanswered. I also encourage you to use the student discussion area within our discussion board to ask and get answers from other students. Well, this concludes our introduction. Uh, please know that I want you to achieve your goals in this class, so ask a lot of questions and let me know what I can do to help you. It all comes down to communication. I want to hear from you.